Good morning, boys and girls. Really great that we're able to have this opportunity. Before we do anything, let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this opportunity to learn your word. We pray that you may open our eyes, that we may see the wonderful things in your law. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Boys and girls, today we have a guest, a well-known friend. Welcome, Pumba. Thank you. Great Hi to guys. have you here. It's uh, hey, Pumba. Hey, you guys, where about Pumba? Hi. Okay, so, so Pumba. Yes. I have a question for you Ooh. today. Mm -hmm. uh, who is a superhero? Oh, uh, a superhero mm -hmm. is uh, someone who flies through the sky like Superman mm -hmm. and saves the day. You're right. A superhero is someone that we look up to. I don't know, kids, who's your superhero? Can I hear those names? I get to hear, uh -huh, I hear. Superman, uh -huh, I hear Batman, oh, Wonder yes. Woman. I, and Elsa. Actually, yes. Yeah. Okay, so today in our lesson, we want to learn about some people who actually were very sad. And actually, our, our story comes from the Bible, from Luke chapter 24, from verse 13 all the way to 26. We get to know about some two men, actually a man and a friend, Cleopas, and the friend that he had, and they were walking to their village, had a very difficult name called Emmaus. Emmaus. And very good, you got it. It's they were walking to Emmaus, and they were very sad. They were so sad. Why were they sad? Because their superhero, Jesus, had just been killed. Oh. He had been killed and actually had been, not just been killed, he had been put on the cross. And now they got the body and they buried him. Why would they put Jesus on the cross? Wasn't he a good, good person? The authority at that time were very jealous of Jesus. And they were not sure if he would take over and get them out as kings as well. So they only wanted to have only themselves as a king. Ooh. But then it was something that we are going to know later that actually God had already said it would happen before. So now, because of how they felt, what actually had made them even more sadder was because the body of Jesus had actually had was missing. It was not in the tomb. Why, where had it gone? Actually, they also did know. They had said that some women had gone to the tomb and found it missing. And they were so sad. So as they were walking, it was so sad that this had happened. Someone joined them on the road as they were going. Ooh. And this guy was like, hi, guys. These guys were like, oh, hi. Who They're is like, this guy? You, they actually, you know, he was, they also didn't know who he was. He, was, he just said, what, what exactly is the problem? And they explained again and again that Jesus, our superhero, had actually been killed and he had uh, been, uh, his body was actually missing. Did and, this, and didn't this guy know about this? Uh, this person looked like he didn't know. Actually, they asked him, are you the only stranger in Jerusalem? Everyone knows about it. Yeah. So they, he, they continued to explain exactly what had happened. And what was astonishing is what this man did. He said that he opened the scriptures and told them that it was written that the prophets long ago had already spoken about this, that Jesus would actually come on earth and would be, uh, would be crucified on the cross. And after three days, he would actually rise again. Now, this had happened on Friday. Can we count how many days these were? There was Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday. Three days. Yes. And so they said, ah, it's three days. But then it was getting dark and dark, and they needed to get to their house quickly. So they asked this person who was with them to walk together with them in their house. And when they got to the house, because they were a bit hungry, they got some bread and gave the guest. Ooh, and I the love bread. I do? love it so much. Ah, fantastic. Just hear what happened. Yes. So as he cut the bread, the guest gave to Cleopas, to his friend. And as soon as they ate it, their eyes were open. And do you know what they got to know? What? what? The guest was actually Jesus. It what? 
Come on to them. And like, Jesus, they were so happy to have Jesus. Before they could even speak to him, Jesus disappeared. Wow. And so they said, we need to share this information to our friends. Yes. And they ran to their disciples. On getting there, they opened the door quickly. And when they saw the disciples, they told them, do you know what? Jesus is alive. And the disciples said, we know it too. He appeared to us. Wow. And they were all excited. And this brings us to our memory verse in Mark 16, 6, that comes from the, word, from the Bible. And this is what it says. He has come back to life. Let's say this say, do together, Pumba. It says, Mark 16, 6. 16, 6. It he, says, yeah, he, he has come, come back to, to life. life. I have a short song for it. Let's, let, uh, let me teach you the song, and we're going to say together. Wow. It says, he has come back to life. He has come back to life. Mark 16, 6. Hey, we're going to try? Let's go. Let's okay. go. He, he has come back to life. He has come back to life. Mark 16, 6. Well done. Indeed, Whoa. Christ Jesus has come back to life. And yes. we experienced him in everything that we do. When we are eating, he is, he provides for us the meal. We say thank you. When we are sick and feeling unwell, we talk to him through prayer. He is with us. He has come back to life. And we're going to dance to this song that says, He is alive. Okay. Pumba, you're joining me? Are yeah, yeah. You? Hey, can I dance when I'm seated oh, here? Please do. Oh, thank you. Mm. Oh, 